Hi, my name is Vincent B. Welcome back to my cryptocurrency channel where I discuss investing and trading in crypto. Today I want to talk about setting a stop limit or a stop loss sale and what it does and when to use it. Um, before I get into that, I just want to uh, talk about these books that I've purchased from Amazon on technical analysis. I'm going to be um, reading these books and reviewing them and sharing what I learned. So if you like this sort of thing, please uh, subscribe and hit the bell. And that'll let you know when I do a video and also it'll keep YouTube from accidentally unsubscribing you. So let's say that you uh, bought bit shares here at um, I don't know let's say you per you just purchased it around here and you don't want it to drop um, you don't want to drop it any, any more than where you bought it but you don't want to walk away and then have it swing down and then swing way up and then you end up missing out so you know with cryptos they can be very volatile so you're gonna want to go down um, quite a bit lower perhaps than where you bought it at and it's up to you where you want to put the sell I like to go down below the uh, support a little bit below the support so here we have 4630 looks like a good place to me to set the trigger so you just type in 4630 right there so that's going to trigger your sale right there at 4630 and then you want to say conditional where it says limit uh, limits the default and uh, the conditional allows you to set it to less than or equal to so it'll sell everything below this number so I like to go even a little bit lower than that so let's say uh, 4600 or and I think by doing that it's going to give you a better chance of selling in that uh, in that range it's going to kind of trigger here and start looking for any orders uh, below 4630 there and uh, I have tested this this does work um, uh, for units you want to type in how much you want to sell at that price if you want to sell everything you can hit max and then hit sell and that's going to sell 1100 units at 4600 or below okay so anywhere above or I'm, I'm sorry anywhere below here it will sell and it's going to trigger at 4630 and start looking for sales um, your limit sell will then show up here with your date and time total units and your total BTC value here you can cancel it by hitting this X and um, you might want to check your bids to make sure there's people buying it at that range that there's you know give you an idea of where it will sell at um, that's not you know essential but uh, if you have a lot of money on the line you might want to check that and I think that's pretty much it if I left anything out or I got anything wrong go ahead and let me know in the comments and I will pin it up to let other people know uh, any uh, additional information 
Uh, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave them down below too. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me a like. Uh, give me a dislike if uh, you felt I did a bad job, and I'll try to do another video explaining it better. And uh, let me know what uh, you know how I could how I can explain it better. I think that's about as uh, easy and straightforward as I can make it. I tried finding a video the other day to make sure I was doing it right, and I actually had a hard time finding one that was. Uh, quick and to the point and easy to understand uh, so I thought I'd make uh, make my own and um, yeah so there it is just want to uh, just do a simple video right now I'm gonna be doing more videos on just the basics and then I'm gonna get into more ad advanced techniques such as this uh, point and figure charting and this is good to find uh, an entry or an exit point uh, in other words when to buy or sell by looking out for uh, breakouts at either a triple bottom or a triple top uh, we see a saucer bottom um, looking at uh, just different examples of trends and you can actually count these to get an idea of where it's going as well so more on that on another video make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell uh, feel free to share and give me a like and I'll be talking to you again here soon hopefully with another crypto video and until then have a good one and good luck to you in trading and I will talk to you later.